Every week, the experts at Superior Pools of Southwest Florida share the latest trends in outdoor living spaces, including custom designs, ideas, and innovations. Watch this inspiration and transformation come to life thanks to our expert opinions and tips, and improve your own outdoor paradise. This is Home Sweet Home, presented by Superior Pools. My name is Amy Hummel. And I'm Danielle Krasik with Superior Pool. Today we are in beautiful Nokomis, Florida at the Sorrels Residence. Wait till you see the beautiful tropical paradise we created for them. Hi, I'm Pam. I'm Bill. Uh, we're originally from New Jersey. Uh, we are son Dalton. And we've moved to Florida in 2003, and we've been all over the place. Bradington, we started out, and moved down to the Keys, and then up to Stewart, and Stewart. Um, Cooper City, we there, there for a long time, 10 years, and then we made it here. We moved here about a year ago, and um, we fell in love with this house. It has our big, huge, great room, and the quadruple slider doors to open up to our paradise. Uh, the big lanai, never had that before. Yeah. So now when I'm sitting on my couch, I, I made the view so that you saw right to the waterfall. So it's all set up a specific way. When you walk through the front doors, you, you know, your view's right to the waterfall and all the gardens and everything. Like Pam said, when we looked, we're looking for a house, when we walked in, we saw the quadruple sliders and the indoor outdoor living was was perfect for what we were looking for to open from the Drupal sliders to the, the big lanai and then our dream of you know having the pool and everything just flowing from the indoor to the outdoors was exactly what we were looking for and that's what really uh, attracted us to this house that we really loved. But then it had no pool so I was like wow I can have my dream pool now. Right, Instead exactly. of buying a house with a pool and trying to add a waterfall to it and everything. So years I've been drawing this pool, what I want, and like the pillar coming down onto the rocks there, I saw that in a picture somewhere, so I'm like, I gotta have yes, that. Yes. Yeah, so I do. I had it all drawn out, and I showed it to Ben, and he brought it to life for me. Dalton, our son, he's 20, um, he's autistic, and he, that's why we built this for him. He just, he just loves playing, going down the slide, and just makes him happy. We used to go to a lot of places and we went to Key Largo, a hotel, and they had this huge waterfall. So that's kind of like what we did here. And then we added the slide in, you know, because it's harder to go out with Dalton. He doesn't handle the public quite as well. So we wanted to make it really fun for him here. So having the waterfall, the grotto, he calls it his car wash. His car wash. He rides his little tubes inside of the car wash and everything. <laughs> And the slide just, he, he loves it, it's non-stop, you know, the way he gets on there and plays and all the ledges, walking around all the ledges, he, you know, he just, he thinks it's neat. Yeah, he really loves the slide and over and over and he really loves it. It's, he's had a lot of, a lot of hours of enjoyment. When he comes off that slide, he's looking straight up. Uh, and, yeah, go he, he's got a special way that he goes down it. And, so he's like landing on his, on his Back. And we didn't know whether he would like it really or not when we put it in. It's like, you know, it may be a year before he goes down that slide, but he... No, right away. He, he, got, co he couldn't figure it out at first, but then we just yelled sit, over. sit down say, on You know, put your feet in first, because he, he wanted to sit and then turn. But yeah. we told him, put your feet in first, and then he went, and it's just been nonstop since then. Wow, Ben, all those pictures I saw of this pool, it does not do it justice. This view is amazing. When you walk in, that's all you see, and you did an awesome job on this. Thanks. Yeah, that was one of the most challenging and, and thought out parts of this job was just this these big slider wall and walking out and, and just opening up to this really oasis, you know? Part of it was our pool, part of it was all the decorating that happened with it, and it just, it all came together and it's awesome. And on top, on top of that, you know, you got a small lot, corner lot to work with, with all these trees left, which when you first brought it to me, I wasn't too happy yeah. with you about it, but <laughs> I said, oh, this is your baby and uh, good luck with it. Yeah. And, uh, you made it happen, so. Yeah, I mean, so one of the, the biggest 
challenges here is, is the, the lot layout. So, and this is pretty typical in Florida lots too, is we, we have lots that have easements on them and the way that this was positioned, we maximized all this space. And that was one of the biggest challenges here because Pam had exactly what she wanted. You know, she came into my office before they even bought the house and showed me this pool and honestly, the first thing I said was, no way, it's not going to fit. There's no way we can do it. And then we, we really started sitting down and, and tweaking the shape of the pool and, and the slide and the grotto. And because of like the size of the grotto and the slide and how it needs to be, it really had no other place to go except for right there. And that brought up another big concern was the, the color of the slide because Pam didn't really want to look out and see this plastic slide oh, in yeah. her Any backyard. Kind of slide, a playground slide or, you yeah. know, light beige and it sticks out and looks real cheap. But that thing flows together perfect. Yeah, we found that color and it just blended in perfect with the rocks and we tweaked it so it's covered mostly by the rocks. So it just looks, I mean, it looks awesome. Everything about it looks awesome. You know, and, and from the drawing, I thought it was gonna kind of look out of place because the pool is a little bit smaller and it's a kidney shape. So it's hard to put all that on a kidney shape and make the curve and make it flow. Yeah, like and, and make it so it's safe, you know, right. so that you can actually slide off the slide and not hit things. Uh, didn't I make you test it once or twice? Yeah, before, uh... <laughs> yeah and build it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure you didn't hit your head. So uh, if you can go and talk about, you know, the specs on that slide, on you know, all the safety and stuff that we have to do when we put the slides in. Well, one of, one of the big concerns with Dalton was, you know, they wanted a slide and and we wanted to make it so it was fun for him, but not too big and, and scare him. Yeah. Um, so we, we used a smaller slide, but we were able to position it to the maximum height that's allowed and get it into the pool enough that it meets all the specs and safety compliance. And, and it just worked, I mean, it worked out really good. And, and with the grotto, able to hide the slide, and the steps that we built up over the back side here. You know, so when we built the steps too, that was another big thing, was making them big enough, wide enough, that they worked and they're safe, but not look like some plastic steps that are just set on the side of this hole. Yeah, well, uh, you know, so many people think when you get a slide, it comes with the steps, it comes with everything. It just comes with the plastic only. Yeah. The plastic slides. So there's a lot that goes into it. And that's why when you get a slide, that's why the price goes up a pretty good amount. Well, and another thing too, the cage. Right. You got to raise the cage up. So if, like on this on this pool, there's a riser wall up off of the roof line to get the cage high enough that when you're walking up the stairs and going down the slide, you're not hitting your head on the on the cage. What is that? A three foot, four foot riser? Yeah, it's four foot riser off of the roof line. And another thing with this cage in particular is just because of all the angles, because of the property lines, it had to be the way that it is and. And, you know, Absolute Aluminum nailed it on that one too. And another thing about like laying this pool out in this space was they wanted, they had a lot of wants. They wanted a very a deep pool, a big pool, big swim area, lots of shape to it and make it really kind of feel like a pond back here. But then you also got to think about things that most people don't think about, which is, you know, you got to have plenty of room over here to get to the steps you gotta have enough room to be out of angle of repose so you're not undermining the structure of the house. And you also wanna have some space out here to be able to enjoy it. Well, yeah, the number one nice. thing with a kidney-shaped pool, it takes up your deck. Yeah. If you got a square pool, you got more deck. But when you have a kidney, all the curves takes up your deck space. So with having a slide, that means you gotta have a bigger deck yeah. with the kidney pool. And, and we, were, we were limited here. You know, there was a, there wasn't a lot of space, and then and then we, Pam wanted to put the koi pond in here too, so that took up space as well. And then another thing was this lanai and this yard, the way it all laid out, the the elevations were such that we weren't going to be able to tie into that lanai. And they they had that big lanai and they used that big lanai, but it was all screened in. So a lot of this space was, you know, they have a lot of furniture and they, they like to sit outside. It was all compacted in there. So opening it up and doing a step down over here and keeping the same elevation over there makes it more of a usable space for them. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. 
Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. Baystone Tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. wanted a pool um, and we came here the, just the lanai was screened in and the yard was just weeds and I had this drawing that I've been carrying around for years of my dream pool so met up with Ben and showed him my drawing and you know he said oh let's do this and that and you know a couple different things and he, he did the 3d rendition of it and it was like wow that's, right. that's exactly what I wanted brought and, to life you know, just because it, it meets everything that I wanted. You know, the focal points and, you know, and then he helped me choose all the different color tiles to keep it natural, guided me on what color to put in on the, the finish so that it reflected the color I wanted. You know, I wanted everything to look real natural, you know, just to fall in with my jungle theme. And, and when we were looking to, to put the pool in, it, it, it was, it, there were certain like she wanted the waterfall and her tile and then we and we wanted to slide for my son and and with, for me i wanted a a bigger pool you know a bigger pool and a deep end uh like a shallow and a deep end for what i wanted so, and it meant you know we checked all the boxes that for that and then it did and superior pools and and really brought it to life for us and we're really happy with it all right B, uh, so you got this grotto here with a slide but to make it tie all together, I really like this. You had rocks over here, so, you know, explain how you came to that. Started off like that, or, you know, how we ended up here. So, so yeah, that was part of, you know, just keeping this really natural feeling. And that's something that I noticed coming down from Virginia to Florida. You know, rocks like this and, and structures, this isn't really natural in, in a Florida environment. So. When I see when I see pools that are built here where where they do a grotto, you know, it, it, if you just place a grotto in in like one spot, it kind of just looks just like that, kind of placed in one spot. So to have some more rocks around the pool and have little planter areas and have you know a couple of rocks, and then another thing is how we have underneath the rocks rock tile going into the water line. It doesn't look as if it's just set on the side of your pool, and then littler details too where. You know, typically we'll do step diamonds along the edge of the steps to mark the steps. And, and that wasn't really in line with what Pam was, was wanting, but we wanted something out here to be able to see, especially for Dalton to be able to see where the edge of the sun shelf is. So we found these little rock, pebbly looking tiles, and we just placed them in, in the corners and on the corner of the bench, and then Pam's gecko over there, and it just all, you know, it tied it all together, but didn't make it your typical Florida pool like we, we're used to seeing out here. 
Yeah, as you're pointing that out, I just noticed that sun shelf's a different color than the right. pool. Yeah, and that, that was another thing is Pam wanted a very beachy looking sun shelf. Now, this is tan plaster, and, and like we tell everybody, you know, tans in the water is gonna definitely make the water have more of a green look to it. And a green pool, pool in Florida is a dirty pool. You know, it's not necessarily dirty. The water can be as clean as it, as it needs to be. It's just gonna look dirty. Looks like it's got algae. Yeah, it looks like it has algae in it. So, so we, that's what we did. We, we did a tan plaster on the sun shelf, and then as we went down to that first step, we brought in the Tahoe blue plaster to give it that teal look and it that again it really makes it unique and it ties in with with the rest of the pool looking more natural and and flowing with the environment and everything uh, it ties in everything from these rocks here to that rocks to her koi pine that, yep. that she built to the pirates to her elevated lanai to the whole backyard like right. <laughs> again when i walked in i was amazed because the pictures that i see you know, I just see the waterfall. I don't, I don't see all this stuff when it's finished. Yeah. And she did an awesome job bringing it all together at the end. And also you did an awesome job just designing this and making her happy and them happy. Yeah. And you know, everyone's happy. So, you know, that's, that's our main goal at the end of the day. It's the end of the day. That's the biggest thing we're after, right? And you make me happy. So, yeah. that, you know, that's hard to do. <laughs> so again, great job at what you did here. All right, uh, another different thing about this pool that uh, ties it all together is the concrete deck. A lot of our shows we've done travertine, we've done pavers, uh, but this is a concrete deck with a knockdown texture and it's just, there's no pattern and then they put a couple different colors in it and they, they just make it look like, you know, blends it all together, it looks awesome. Well, and this had a lot to do too with Pam's vision for the place. She wanted very natural and nothing that looked like out of place so with that texture and that that was something in particular that we tried to do was match the brick coping with the texture and and just have it kind of flow into the rocks and and have everything she want you know we really wanted it to be a pool and look like a pool but also not really look like a pool in the backyard just part of this whole backyard and it i mean again with this concrete because of the hand trowel work and the different color patterns in it, it really looks very natural and really, really hit it out of the park on that. Now it used to be back in the day we did a lot more concrete than pavers and travertine. You know, nowadays nine out of 10 decks are pavers or travertine. You know, when you have concrete, we guarantee concrete will crack. It is Florida, we're on sand. Yeah. And then with pavers, what do we guarantee? They're gonna sink, they're gonna settle, they're gonna fade, they're gonna degrade. You know, they're, they're, and that's the part of, again, working with a designer, somebody who's knowledgeable in these products, they can help you get to the decision that's right for you because everything has its pros, everything has its cons. Um, and, and with this pool in particular, this is the reason why there's brick coping around this pool. Because of separating the decking from the pool shell, you eliminate some of the possibilities of cracks because you have two different areas there sinking and settling in different fashions. So, you know, as opposed to what we call a cantilever edge, where the concrete goes over the edge of the pool. And it sits on top of the pool shell. It sits shell. on top of the pool so shell. Pool shell shifts, what happens? Exactly. The deck's gonna you crack. You got two different surfaces. You got pool shell, and you got your cantilever edge. And as this shifts different than this, you're always gonna get cracked. So that was another big reason for doing brick coping with the concrete poured up to the back of it. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, 
We're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. Baystone Tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. You can see a little bit of all of us in our decorating of the backyard. Uh, Dalton's all pirate, so you'll see our, all our pirate flags and skeletons, things like that. I'm the theme of where the jungle meets the sea. You have all my gardens and then you have all my mermaids and that ties it all together. And then Bill, Bill <laughs> likes all his tiki, so we have his tiki bar, you know, and it's just more to come. It's going to be more and more. So another thing when I brought this to you and, and it was full of trees back here and something that was very important to Pam was keep as many of the bigger palms that we could. And there's, there's a tree right over here that we tried to keep it to the very end and just the lean of it, it was just going to hit the cage. So I broke the news to Pam like, hey, we're going to have to cut this tree down. She was a little upset at first, but she came up with a great idea and turned it into a tiki man. She put a little pot on top of it and the tiki man there and it just it really brought all of this decoration that she has out here together, you know, between the pirates and the tiki and the flowers and the orcas and it, it just, it, it really, uh, really turned out awesome. I agree. I like it. <laughs> it, it. It made it hard for the guys to work around because the, the footer's right next to it. Yep. And when we sell a pool, we always say we need 10 foot for our machines to get around. You know, we got bobcats, mini excavators. The guys have to plumb and do the footer and the cage, so we always need our room to work. But you guys made this one happen. Well, we turned out nice. All the guys really pulled it together too, because like we talked about, you know, there was a lot of challenges with building Correct. this pool too. And so having the guys being able to be involved with construction and you know laying out the slide so it fit just perfect. I mean, there's inches of clearance all the way around this pool, and and everybody coming together and everybody working together and being able to, you know, adjust things on the fly too. Like when, like when we first came out here, we had two rocks here in the design, and we we laid it out, and it just didn't look, it didn't look right. It looked, you know, like placed a little bit. So we, you know, we we saw it, we adjusted it, and 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 put it all together, and it, like I said, I mean, it, it really came out awesome. You know, he brought up a good point. Ben can design anything in the world, but our guys have to build it. All right, we have 50 in-house workers, employees. Some guy's been there 15 years, 10 years. But without our crew, we're nothing. Our crew is awesome. They make us superior and they do a great job. You know, every single pool we do is different. It's a challenge to them. And a lot of times they don't get to see the end of it. Right. You know, so these TV shows really helps them appreciate their work too because they get to see everything after the fact. So again, we don't say it enough and hopefully all of our employees will be watching, but Thank you everyone, you do an awesome job. It's a pleasure to have you part of Superior. We've had pools before, but nothing like the pool that we have now. And you know, with the pool and our sliders, and we just spend so much more time outside now and eating our meals, lunch and dinner. And we, we sit out here and enjoy the waterfall and just the relaxing atmosphere. And it's, it's really amazing and we love it. Yep. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation, and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, 
serving Lee to Collier counties. Or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. Baystone Tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. I know we talked about a lot of all these challenges with the tight property and all the variables in this, but you know what I picked up from you is when she brought it in, you're like, oh man, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if we can do this or it's, this is going to be tough. But let me tell you, with all the challenges, you made this thing into a masterpiece and awesome job. And thank uh, you. The homeowner, she's got a great eye though too because oh, yeah. she also did this koi pond and the way this thing's decorated, everything really flows. So. Awesome job all the way around. Yeah, I mean it was a lot of work and a lot of and a lot of uh, trying out different options. And that you know that's the great thing about working with a de designer like myself is we can we can do that. We can sit down and we can make you know something that come to life. And and especially with the program, the 3D program that we use, I was able to put all of these elements in here. And I mean we couldn't have nailed it any better. It, it's awesome. It I mean everything flows together. Everything. You know, just sitting out here with everybody, there's plenty of space for have uh, you know as many people as you want out here, and with the surroundings and all the plants, you know, it feels like its own little paradise back here. You don't even feel like you're in somebody's backyard. You feel like you're in a resort. It's awesome. And you know, that's one great thing that makes us superior is with our designers. They care. They treat every pool as their own. They build that relationship, and they just care about it. And they'll do whatever they got to do to make it happen. This took a lot of, of your time. Yeah, absolutely. And put a lot of effort into it. And it shows, and that's what makes us who we are. We care, we'll take the time, and we'll make it right. Well, yeah. thanks, Ben, for building our backyard paradise for us. We love it. Absolutely, and thanks so much for uh, letting us put this all together. It looks awesome back here. Thank you. We're really yes. happy. Yes. Yep. Right, Don? Yeah, yep. You love it, Dalton? You love it? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> if you're interested in having a pool built by Superior Pools, please visit www.superiorpools.com. Home Sweet Home, presented by Superior Pools, would like to thank our sponsors.